The Novar Edge Server 1, or ES1 for short, is Novar's most powerful executive module to date. Both an embedded Internet of Things controller and server platform, the ES1 combines integrated control, supervision, scheduling, network management, alarming, data logging, and edge analytics while serving all of this information to the end user in an HTML5 supported web-based graphical environment. The ES1 is backwards compatible with Novar legacy equipment, along with supporting integrated devices over a host of communication protocols, including BACnet, Modbus, Lawnworks, and a variety of others. Comparing the ES1 with Novar's prior executive controller, the XEM20R, the ES1 has four times the memory, four times the processing power, while no longer requiring a transition board or an onboard battery, allowing the controller to have a much smaller physical footprint. This compact design is also easily expandable, with optional DIN rail mountable modules which connect via the ES1's expansion port, allowing for additional RS-232, RS-485, and LAN ports. Let's take a look at the ES1 hardware in depth. At the bottom of the ES1, made obvious by the antenna, we have a wireless LAN adapter. Beside it, we have a three-point selection switch for configuring the Wi-Fi, either off as an access point or as a client. The Wi-Fi may also be enabled or disabled based on the version of software your ES1 is loaded with, or how that software is configured. To the right of the Wi-Fi selection switch, we have a sliding door which reveals where the micro SD card is stored. This card will hold your ES1's license and is transferable to a replacement module. Should the need arise, you simply push in on the micro SD card and it will pop out for removal. For insertion, simply push in until it clicks into place. Further to the right on the bottom, we have this red tab attached to the DIN rail locking clip. Simply pull down on the tab to release the lock. You can then remove the ES1 by lifting from the bottom away from the DIN rail. When mounting an ES1, catch the top of the ES1 on the rail first, then push the bottom to the rail and push this locking clip up until it clicks. The unit should then be secure. Further to the right, we have the two RJ45 Ethernet ports, your secondary or LAN 2 port on the left, followed by your primary or LAN 1 port on the right. Similar to the XEM20R, your LAN 1 port will be your primary connection to the building network. The secondary port will be used for direct user connectivity on site. Moving to the top of the ES1, at the very left we have a ground connector beside a 24 VAC VDC two position pluggable terminal connector for power supplied by a dedicated 24 volt transformer. Or just to the right of that, a second option for supplying power a barrel connector input for using a wall mount AC adapter instead of the two position connector just mentioned. To the right of the two power supply options, we have two RS-485 ports, COM1 and COM2. These ports will be configurable. If a remote LCD is being utilized on site, it will most likely be assigned to port 1. These ports also have a three position switch similar to the Wi-Fi adapter. These are for configuring the BIOS configurations of these ports and will be set to BIA by default. Refer to the ES1 mounting and wiring guide for more information regarding these settings. This leaves us with the front panel, the most obvious part of which is the status indicator lights. Opening the controller's front access door will reveal the descriptions of these lights along with access to two USB ports, a standard USB 2.0 port for future backup restore functionality and a micro A USB for hyper terminal access. Please note that the USB backup option via the ES1 is not yet compatible with the current version of ORL and that this USB 2.0 port and backup button should never be utilized until a future release of Novar software supports them. The backup indicator light will be used at that time to display the state of any backup transfers. Returning to the other status lights, the wireless LAN indicator displaying the status of the Wi-Fi adapter will be lit green at all times when enabled. The indicator lights beneath the COM1 and COM2 ports each show a transmit and receive light indicator, 
a yellow light designated for transmit, or TX, and a green light designated for receive, or RX. On the lower left, we have a green status light, which will remain lit during normal operation. And to the right of that, a beat light, short for heartbeat, which will blink at 1 hertz during normal operation. Besides that, we have a shutdown push button, which when pressed, will request that all programs be stopped for safe power down. Further to the right, we have the LAN 2 secondary and LAN 1 primary transmit and receive lights. The green light will display when a link to the network is found, and the yellow light will be a signal that there is activity detected on that port. For more detailed information regarding these indicators or any other details mentioned throughout, please refer to the NOVAR ES1 Mounting and Wiring Guide or the ES1 Installation Brochure.